In this video, we'll be hunting some half dollars. We'll be looking for any silver from 1970 or earlier. We'll also be looking for any forns, proofs, heirs of varieties, NISCs, or any other cool things we can find. We do have four boxes, but depending on how they do, I might split up this video into two parts. And they're all the code 7565, which did pretty well last week. This first box has one ender, a 2003 NIFC. No unders in the other boxes, but I'm also pretty sure this box has a short roll. So let's start the hunt, and I'll bring you in when we have our first find. Roll three, and we have our first find. It was that NIFC ender, a 2003D. Roll six, had a couple more NIFCs, a 2006 and a 2007, both from Philly. Roll 22, and we have another NIFC, and this one's a 2002 from Philly. Roll 39, and we have NIFC number 5. It's a 2009 out of Philly. Roll 43 was the roll that looked short, and it unfortunately was short a coin, so we lost 50 cents. But it did have a 2013P and IFC. Roll 47, and we just got the best find of the box. A 1974D DDO. This is the easiest DDO to see. If we put it under the scope. You can clearly see the extra thickness in all letters of trust, especially the R, U, and S. So it's my first 74D DDO in a while. It's not in bad shape either, and that's a great find. Next roll, and we have another NIC, and this one's a 2002 out of Denver. Last roll of the box, and we got one more find, and it's a miscellaneous. It's a 1971 with a two counter stamped right on Kennedy's head. So we ended that box with one miscellaneous, a 1974D DDO, and a total of seven NIFCs, so not the best box. So hopefully the next box can have some good finds like silver. Roll five, and we have the first find of box two, and it's a 2007D NIFC. Roll nine of box two, and we have another variety found, and it's another 1974D DDO. And as you can see, it has the same very obvious doubling on the word trust. So yeah, two 1974 DDOs found in the same hunt, either are in too terrible of shape, and that's awesome. Roll 13, another NIFC. This one's a 2003 Philly. Roll 23, another NIFC, and this one's a 2009 out of Denver. Roll 31, and we have another NIFC, and this one is a 2020 out of Philly. Roll 33, and we have yet another NIFC, and this one is a 2007 Philadelphia. Roll 47, and I think we're going to have a proof with this thick edge right here. Let's see what it is. And it is a proof, and it's a beautiful one. A 1982S. That's in awesome condition. It's definitely the best find of the hunt so far. Next roll, another NIFC, and it's a 2008 Denver. Once again, next roll, and we have another NIFC, and this one's another 2007D. Last roll of the box, we'll continue the streak of finds. We have a couple more NICs, a 2005 and a 2007, both out of Denver. Overall, this box is definitely better than the first one because we got another 1974D DDO, as well as a proof, and some more NICs. Since we didn't get any silver, I'm going to add the last two boxes onto this video, so it'll be a four box hunt. And now let's go on to box number three. Roll 23, and we finally have the first find for the third box, and it is a 2020p NIFC. Roll 26, and we have a couple more NIFCs. Both are 2007s, one's from Philly, and one's a Denver. Next roll, and we have yet another NIFC, and this one's another 2007 out of Denver. Roll 33, another NIFC, and this one is a 2008 Philly. Roll 35, and we have yet another NIC, and it's another 2007 Denver. Roll 44, and we have another NIC, and this one is a 2012 from Philly. Roll 49, and we have another variety found. We found one variety of box so far. This one's a 1977D DDO. Put on a scope, you can see that there's some extra thickness in the R of Trust, as well as some of the other letters. It is a 1977D DDO. It's not in that great of shape, but still, any variety is a good find. That was all for box number three. We ended up getting this that I pulled aside. It was a 1979. It looks like there's a screw stuck in his head. And we got a few more NIFCs and then another variety. Now let's go on to box number four. Roll eight, and we have the first find of box number four. And it is a 2020D NIFC. 
roll 19, and we have a couple more NIFCs, a 2003D and a 2020P. Roll 22, and we have yet another NIFC, and it's another one from 2020, and it's out of Philly. Next roll, another NIFC, and this one is a 2002 Denver. Roll 25, halfway point of the box, and we have yet another NIFC, and this one's another 2007 Denver. Roll 31, a couple more NIFCs, and like a lot of them we've been getting, there are 2007 and 2020, both out of Denver. Roll 35, and we have a miscellaneous find. Had the 72. Sounds a lot different. Then I put it on the scale. And it only weighs 10.37 grams. Half dollars is supposed to weigh about 11.3. So this is a full gram light. So that's definitely a light planchet. And that's a cool find. Roll 39. Another NIC. And this one is another 2003P. Roll 43. Yet another NIC. And this one is a 2005 Denver. Last box has been hunted, so let's go over the finds. We ended up getting 33 NICs for the four boxes, a lot of them being 2020s and especially 2007s. A couple miscellaneous finds, this 1971 with a two counter stamped in the middle, and then this 1979 with kind of a screw mark right there. And then other errors, we got this 1972 with a one gram light planchet, which is pretty cool. Two 1974D DDOs, then a 1977D DDO. Then the find of the boxes was this absolutely beautiful 1982 as proof found in the second box. Fortunately, we didn't get any silver and the silver streak ended, but that doesn't mean it was a bad hunt.